Security and confidentiality are always important aspects of an application that is going to be seen by a large group of people with different roles or clearances. Spreadsheet Web supports this confidentiality by allowing the user to create and manage groups with different levels of clearance. Take this spreadsheet for example. This dashboard with graphs representing company growth might be interesting to any member of the group. However, the information outlined under the Employee Data tab as well as Dashboards 2 and 3 outline important confidential information regarding employee salaries that's best kept within admin privileges. For our demonstrative purposes, we'll divide these three tabs into three visibility levels. Limited users will be able to see only the first tab, standard users will be able to see the first two tabs, and admin users will be able to see all tabs. Creating these security levels is just a matter of writing if statements and then incorporating them through the wizard. We first input equals spreadsheet web user role into a cell. After conversion, spreadsheet web will reflect this command as the user group's type. Now we have to set the if rules. True will mean that the page will be visible, false means that it won't. Dashboard 1 will be visible to all user types, so we don't need a rule. Dashboard 2, however, will be invisible to limited users, so we can create an if statement saying that if the spreadsheet web user role is equal to the limited user, then false, otherwise true. Dashboard 3 will only be seen by admin level accounts, so the formula must either read if the spreadsheet web user role is limited user or standard user, false, otherwise true, or if the spreadsheet web user role equals admin, true, otherwise false. From here, we can go up to add-ins and open up the wizard. We go over and click next. Well, I've already turned this spreadsheet into a web application. If you go over to the payroll summary, the second page, and you hit edit, you can see how you disable these worksheets for different user roles. The second tab, you have to make sure that there's a check mark next to the disable worksheet option and then point it using this button at the cell that we use to create the second rule. In the same manner, the third tab needs to be pointed and directed at the third rule that we created. After the conversion upload, if you log into an admin account and open up the web application we created, you should be able to find all three tabs that we had in the Excel file. Here's tab 2 and tab 3. If we log out and log back in as a limited user and open up the same application, we can see that there's only one tab and that's the dashboard. Finally, if we take a look at a standard user, we can see both of the first two tabs. Using this method in Spreadsheet Web is an easy way to ensure the confidentiality of your web application and to manage who is able to see what information. Thanks so much for listening.